Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. My name is Karen Dobb, and today we're going to talk about rescuing a victim that's been entrapped in a grain bin accident. One of the most important things before you go in the grain is lockout tagout of all of your equipment. If the grain bin is running, you have got to shut it down and lockout tagout before you enter the grain. Another important feature that you need to do before you go into the grain is you have to put on a safety harness. You always need a harness on and to be secured tight off and don't ever enter a bin alone. You want to also make sure that you have on a safety mask to protect your airway. There's a lot of dust and mold that can be in the grain and that can end up in your lungs and you'll end up with a long-term lung condition based off of that. You have to take care of yourself first before you can even get in to take care of the victim. Okay, why don't we go up on top of the grain bin and take a look at what's going on with the victim up there. We'll go up there and we'll start to stabilize the victim and give some first aid attention to him. At this point, we have entered into the structure and we have our victim that's trapped in the grain. You wanna make a rapport with the patient and find out if they're conscious or unconscious at this point. Sir, can you hear me? Can you talk to me? Yes. Did you fall or did you just get sucked into the grain? I got sucked in. Okay, so no trauma probably to his C-spine, back, area so we're not going to have to do seat collar and backboard at this time but we are concerned about his airway so we're going to go ahead and protect the patient's airway can you help me put the mask on your face yes are you having any problems breathing at all none if the patient was having any problems breathing at all you could also go ahead and put a non-rebreather mask on at 15 liters a lot of this will depend on how long the patient's been trapped in the, in the bin itself. You also want to find out, are your legs straight underneath you or are they out at an angle? They're straight under me. Okay. And you, a lot of this grain has about 75 pounds of pressure per square inch on the body. The longer the victim is trapped in the grain, the more breakdown of muscle tissue that's going to lead to rhabdomyolysis and could possibly lead to circulation problems. So once you have your oxygen and airway established, you wanna go ahead and probably start an IV on your victim. Now just remember, you're gonna be doing this while other rescue workers are coming in with the rescue tube and securing that area of the bin itself. Remember, you wanna keep in mind how long the victim has been trapped in the grain. He could have been in here for about four hours and you need to think of getting this patient to a level one trauma center and how you're gonna get them there you may think about calling for an aircraft to transport the patient to a trauma center. Also keep in mind that inside a grain bin, the temperatures are gonna be extreme, very hot. If it's a warm day out, it's gonna be extremely hot inside a grain bin. You wanna keep an eye on the rescue workers. They probably will have to take shifts doing the rescue themselves, not being in more than 15 minutes at a time. In next month's training minutes, you will learn how to use the rescue tube and get the victim out of the grain. I'm Karen Dobb. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes.